the power invested in me of YouTuber and influencer. I am telling you all that <laughs> Cyan over here. That kind of made me. Banjo you saying that really wants me to even vote you, but. <laughs> influencer. Do it or I will personally edit <laughs> you out of every flank frame of this video. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not one to talk about drama, or especially furry drama, but I gotta talk about this. I gotta talk about this furry in particular. Uh, this blue mother frickin' Garo, or Garo, whatever this dragon, ice dragon thingy McHooger, whatever he is, this nigga over here. Nigga! Is something else. So I actually seen him in my recommended tab in YouTube before. Never really paid him much mind. And well, and I mean, I guess he's certainly blowing up tonight because apparently this guy is has a pretty big ego and is seems pretty self-centered. Um, especially when it comes to his Patreon and stuff. Uh, my Patreon's in the description, by the way. You know, let's talk about let's talk about what's happening. So this guy made a tweet. Um, just about. Uh, previous game he's playing and declining uh, friend messages and stuff. But let's just go to the replies of this tweet he made. Like, why are they hidden? Whenever someone hides replies to a tweet, nothing good can be coming out of it. Only one of two things... Only one of two things are in hidden replies to tweets. It's either the truth that the tweet author does not want you to see, or just straight up porn. It, it, it really, there's no in between. It's either one of those two things. And, unfortunately, it wasn't the good stuff. It was the cold hard truth, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so what happened is that apparently this guy's Patreon is nuts. Uh, I'm only going off of this screenshot I saw on Twitter, but I'll probably look at the whole thing. But for $250 a month, Actually, no, skip that. $500 a month, you are guaranteed private VR chat sessions. 20 minutes! 20 minutes, by the way. Th that's a deal. Um, two Discord DMs. <laughs> two! <laughs> and now, with the addition of two, count them, two. Discord DMs per day. Five hundred freaking dollars, and, and you know I, I'm not gonna lie. A at first, I wasn't really gonna rip on this guy because, but let's be honest. You know, getting money for doing mundane things on the internet isn't that bad, uh, especially when you take in consideration uh, the dumbest ways you can get money online. You know what I mean, you could sell, you could sell bricks with your name on it. You know, you can just be a Twitch streamer that just happens to be pretty enough for people to donate to you. I mean, there's a lot of dumb ways, but. This has a particular taint towards, this goes past the irony. This, this isn't a joke, like this is legit serious. And, and let's even go past the guy's Patreon. <laughs> Forget the Patreon, I, I, I got a friend here, Emmy here, a really, really nice person. Apparently they had the F word in their profile um, just for self-expression, but apparently this guy single-handedly goes straight to their DMs and says, I'm gonna need you to change your status message. Wait, so it's not even in the name. It was in their status. You don't see that stuff unless you specifically go to someone's profile. Like, oh my God, like the amount of helicopter parent self entitlement this guy has is just so funny. And it's so unbelievable. And you know, I thought I had a big ego because I made a Patreon. The highest tier I have is $5. And I was thinking, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna put up five just in case. I don't want to seem like a jerk. Like I deserve this. You know, it's just fun. This guy, this, this nigga putting up $500. That's in some places. I, well, at least I mean, where I live, that's like half the rent for the month. In other states, that's literally your rent for the month. It's just so many things. Absurd rules. I mean, look at these rules in his Discord server. Like, 
everything has to be about him. All the art has to be about him. When you stream, it has to, like, you, you can't do anything important during a stream in his worlds without him, or he'll basically ban and block and kick you. I, holy crap! And I mean, I, I can understand when you're a creator and you get pretty big and it's hard to manage a fan base and you know, and it's, you know, and the tr reality is you can't friend every single person. I'm that type of person that tries to friend everyone and honestly, it, it is very hard, but the way it comes off, it, it kind of comes off as you being a jerk. Cause I've seen creators that are like, hey, I'm only doing, you know, play sessions with close friends and mutuals, but to put a freaking price tag on that, holy crap. I mean, let's be real. The community straight up looks like some sort of weird cult. Like, it's nice to have a fan base of people that support you, but to trim your server to make it where people can only talk and praise you and you can't take any sort of criticism is highly sus, man. I mean, look at my server. Like, aside from the name, it ain't revolving around me, that's for sure. And people are quick to call me an idiot for many things I'll do. <laughs> Oh my god, this has gone on long enough, and I don't even know what the point of this video was. Just to bring up how weird this was, I mean, I don't want to send hate to the guy, but it's not like I have much of a fan base that could even really attack him. Not that I want to. But uh, at the end of the day, don't harass the guy, because I mean, in reality, he's not hurting anyone. It's his own little ecosystem, but he does kind of come off as a jerk uh, for having these really weird guidelines in place and even going to the extent of telling people what they can and can't have in their profiles that that really goes too far either way this is tay signing out uh sorry for the bad video quality but i just had to go over this because of how absurd it was have a good one and good night